Good day everyone, thank you for joining us. My name is Anda. Today I'll take you through some of our thoughts on bids following their recent results for FY21. Starting off with our executive summary, uh, we remain bullish on the counter uh, on the back of the following premises. We see the counter is attractively priced with a forward PE of 8.2 times which then yields a discount of 22.7% to its historical average and a 17.5% discount to its peers. Going forward, we're expecting the NGP to be the catalyst of growth, um, but we also highlight the regulatory risk um, associated with this product, especially from the US. We continue to see the company as a solid and consistent dividend pair with a forward uh, dividend yield of 7.8%. When we did a DCF on the counter, uh, we found an intrinsic value of 751 rands, which then gives us a potential upside of 23.5%. Uh, However, we note the Russia and Ukraine tensions as a downside risk. Uh, but we don't see this as material, given that the two countries combined contribute around 4% to growth revenue. Now moving on to the actual uh, results. The most important aspects were growth um, in NGP products, which was um, strong uh, on the back of strong volumes as well as pricing. We were also encouraged by recovery in cigarette volumes, especially in the emerging markets. Overall, the EBIT margin contracted um, around 0.7 percentage points um, to arrive at 43.4%, and this was on the back of uh, investments in NGP. Net debt also declined by 10%, um, giving us a net debt to EBITDA ratio of around three times, which is a decline from the 3.3 times we saw in the prior period. Now moving on to how the market reacted to these results, um, they had a muted reaction. On the day, the share price was up 1.6% against the benchmark um, movement of around 0.1%. If we look at how the company has performed since our last report, which was in August last year, um, BETS has outperformed um, the benchmark. It's been up 12.4% against the benchmark of 5.8% uh, performance. Now, uh, when we move on to earnings, um, EPS estimates for FY22 have been on an upper trend, and this is on the back of um, solid growth that's expected in the NGP space. Uh, moving on to assessment, um, before we look at table one, which speaks to our valuation and the scenario analysis, I'd like to draw your attention to table two, which speaks to the THP comparison um, of beds compared to Philip Morris. So, in a way, this shows the market share. For beds, the NGP uh, revenue contributed around 8% to growth, um, which was high compared to the 5.6% that we saw in the prior period, which then um, helped the company to increase its market share to 13%, up from the 12% that we saw in the prior year. If we move on to divisions, starting off with Asia, um, Philip Morris continued to grow faster than um, beds in that region, uh, but beds grew stronger in Europe. Um, if we just look at the market share, um, so beds has around 9% market share compared to the 5% in the prior period. Now, uh, speaking to Russia and, and Ukraine um, tensions, um, so we maintain that we don't expect the Russia and Ukraine tensions to have a material impact on the company. And this is because um, volumes from um, Russia contribute around 7.8% to group. Um, revenue contributes around 3% uh, to group. 
and EBITDA then contributes around 2.5%. So because of this, uh, we're expecting um, margins to rise in the short term um, as it's clear that um, Russia is not contributing as much um, to group. Now moving on to table one. Um, so we value the company at 71051 rands. Uh, if we look at our scenarios for the base case, the main assumption there is that the multiple applied is um, lower than the five-year average, and this is so that we capture the decline in uh, pricing um, of cigarettes. Uh, for the bear case scenario, um, we factored in um, a four percent. Uh, impact on revenue due to the Russia and Ukraine tensions. And then for our bull case scenario, um, we're expecting the NGP products growth to make up for the loss uh, in cigarette pricing. So overall, uh, we are bullish on the counter as we see NGP products as the catalyst of growth going forward. Um, and we don't see any material impact coming from uh, Russia and Ukraine tensions. Should you wish to place a trade with us, please take note of the following personnel. Before we close off, I would like to take your attention to the following disclaimer. Thank you.